Jenny McCarthy Show. Oh. I want to plug the show flipping out Tuesday nights at uh, 10 o'clock on Bravo. The show is amazing. Have you gotten, uh, is, it, is it coming back? Do you know? You got to pick up. Because of all the issues that have been going on with me, the two, you know, the pending lawsuits, and then also the radio shows created a lot of problems for me at Bravo, because I've talked about behind the scenes, uh, I've talked about contracts, <sighs> and so I've got in a lot, a lot. I've had a lot of heat from Bravo. They have not renewed my contract. It expires on October fifteenth, and I am looking for a job. Are you are you nervous that you're not going to get resigned? I am nervous. I am nervous, but I will tell you that I've already I'm resigned to the fact I love Look, I I'll always my entire life is I know that one door closes, I always know another door always. is going to open. Sometimes it takes 3 years for that door to open, but there's always another door that's going to open. Another door opened for me, and I have this serious radio show and I love it and I was saying to Gage, you know, if I'm done on television, I'm cool with that. I love this job. And you know what? I've been I've been doing this for 11 years. I wasn't expecting it to last forever. I mean, did you does it disappoint you to know that it's going away because of the controversy? I uh, I just believe that everything happens for a reason and things end when it's supposed to end. And I'm not saying flipping out is over, but it could be. It could be. It could be, but um, we hope not, by the way. Right. But we're glad to have you at Sirius. So, the the whole controversy with the X, tell me, did you put that X on Jen's face? I did. <laughs> I Sorry. did. Okay, so I had a. So people don't know my co-star, who has been my assistant for 16 years. Uh, we had a rift, and so I was promoting the show, and I put up a picture on social media with uh, Jenny and myself, and I put a red X over her face. And um, and this is actually kind of a funny story. Bravo immediately started calling me, and they called me all day. Please take this down. Please take this down. Please take this down. At the end of the day, the SVP, the big boss, sent me a simple text. T- not hi, how are you, Jeff? Whatever take it down. Wow. And Jeff took it right down. Yeah, I took it right down. Because you were nervous. I was nervous when the big boss calls or just texts. Did yeah. you understand why? I mean, I thought it was funny. I thought it was, you know, I meant it as a joke. Um, I thought, you know, I'm, if we're trying to promote the show, a lot of people saw that, but it was not, you know, I understand now it wasn't really the message that they wanted me to send. Did Jen appreciate it? I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Did she ever say anything to you about it? She hasn't talked to me for three months. Really? Yeah. We haven't talked for three months. That's heartbreaking. It is. We've been friends for 16 years. Yeah. I, I know. It's crazy. And then did she? you did stop her from writing the tell-all. That was a few years back, yeah. So we've had a long list of, you know, we've had a very complicated friendship because we've also had a television show together. And I think there's been some competition and I think there's been, um, you know, uh, there's been some missteps on both of our parts and we've we've worked very hard to get through them and pass them. You know, then like, you know, recently we had a, a major problem and, you know, I, it's so funny because if you asked me a week ago, I'd say, I'm never talking to her again. But now I start to watch the episodes and I'm like, oh, I miss yes. her. And I like, we were, you know, we were such good friends. And I'll, so now I'm just saying, never say never. Never say never. And you know what? I look back now at some friendships that I have that there was some serious shit that went down. And I forgave them and they forgave me and we move forward. Time is an amazing healing yes. device, isn't it? The relationships you do change a bit. I think you become, maybe you're not as so open and vulnerable. Right. But that's also not my personality to be guarded. So that, you know, I I, I feel like um, I want to feel safe around you, Jenny, and I want to feel like I can tell you anything and that you're not going to use it against me. Right. And those are the people that I, I, I truly uh, want to surround myself by. And even sometimes if we say things that are a little un-PC, you know what I meant. You know I'm not racist. You know, you know what I'm saying? You know I'm not... I would never actually think that if you know me. And were you afraid that she was going to come out and disparage you in a book again or anything like that or no? Um, she just went to my... Uh, okay, here's the thing about you and I. As we become friends, because I really would like to be friends with you, Jenny. Uh, any issues moving forward, I'm always going to call you direct. I'm never going to go behind your back. I'm never going to call your husband. I love that. I'm never going to call your boss. I love it. I'm going to go to you direct and you and I are going to fucking work it out. <laughs> So, and it, look, if we have a disagreement, I'm still not going to our boss and complain about you. I am going to wait. I'm going to give it a minute. And then I'm going to, I'm going to approach you again. So that was the sore spot. That was the hurt that she went above. She went to our bosses and got me in some trouble. And that was unnecessary because it's something that we could have worked out on our own.
And why now, after all these years, it's not like you are like, you know, Mary Poppins to work with. We all know, and yeah. you'd admit it. Yeah. Why now, all of a sudden? I, I just think it was, uh, it's so funny, because when you love somebody, like, you know, I, it's, it's, I love Jenny. And so, I kind of like put myself in her place. And I'm like, okay, what was going through her head? I just think, truly, it was an emotional, knee-jerk didn't not planned reaction and I honestly think she regrets it. Now, what I would love right now, which would help a lot with the healing process, call me Jenny. Call me, tell me what you were thinking, apologize, let's talk about this. Because I I I don't think like I don't want to be upset and I was thinking about this this morning um I had a therapist, Jenny, yeah, I that too. said, I, I did not, I was not good with communicating my feelings as a child. And so my parents sent me to therapy. And I'll never forget this because this is what the therapist would say every time I walk in the door. I want you to tell me how you're feeling today. Mad, sad, glad, afraid, ashamed, hurt. Wow. And you can feel all those feelings. And I would go in and it, and it was really like an exercise for me because I was yes. able to, I was able to connect with my feelings. So if I were to answer that question right now, how do you feel about your rift with Jenny? I am mad. I'm sad. I am glad. I'm afraid. I'm ashamed. And I'm hurt. I feel all those feelings. I feel them all day. Now you said, oh, you would love for her to call and apologize. Could you apologize to her? Uh... For the ex, uh, we look. I uh, certainly yes. I I think that we. I am. I'm willing to look at my role in things because look, I contributed to getting to that point. You know, so absolutely would I admit what I did wrong. So you are. So you, Jeff Lewis, can take accountability. I can. Sometimes it takes me a minute. It takes me a minute. Uh, you and I have an, a, a fight, and I'm wrong, and Gage will nod. Sometimes it takes me a couple days, but I do show back. I will show up, and I will apologize. I am accountable. I will be accountable. But the thing is, the problem is I'm not wrong very often. <laughs> <laughs> but when I am, I will, I will own it. Jenny McCarthy Show. Oh!